We need more bounty hunters. <clears throat> Agreed. Yes. So you ready, sir? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm ready when you are, my good man. Well, I mean, this is uh, this is episode seven of the ABCs of TPBs. We're on the G's now. Uh, I don't remember uh, who who hosted last time. Did you host or did I? You know, it's. I, I was yeah. over your place, but. Yeah, but it uh, you you kicked it off as well. No, okay, so it's your turn. I'm a so I'm all the I'm all the odds. You're all the evens. Okay, so so this is odd. Yes, this so is odd. This a, is you. C D E F G. Yes, yeah, odd. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a, you, got it on hands. Yeah, yeah. That's it. you can't just say the number seven is an odd number. Just... Yeah, well, I didn't. I didn't know what number G was. <laughs> oh was, yeah, that's yeah. why I was counting. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, what's going on, people? It's ABCs, TPBs. Like Dave said, we're here with the G's. Uh, we're rocking out with uh, with two books. Uh, my my pick is the Grass Kings from Boom, and Dave has a uh, Ghost Rider, Wolverine, and Punisher, which we'll talk about after the jump. A little GWP, a little bit of GWP. Um, mm-hmm. So before we get into any of that, man, yeah, it's 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 uh, been a while. You've been sir, everything uh, everything good? Everything's pretty good so far, man. I saw Infinity War. Mm-hmm. Uh, didn't hate it. Didn't love it, but it was all right. Okay, all right. Yeah. Didn't hate it and didn't love it. Thought it was good. Is it good enough to get to Avengers Four? Oh yeah, yeah. I still want to see. I still want to see the next film. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I gotta see the next film. Gotta see how they they ended up. Like I say, it, it wasn't a clusterfuck. It just um, that part of it was not. <clears> that <throat> was not up to the standards of what they'd been building ten years to to get to. So yeah, it was a. Uh, it was all right. Okay, it's all right. Uh, there's your official review from Dave. It was all right. It was all right. It was all right. Um, it didn't suck. <laughs> <laughs> what about um, you, man? What are you up to? Uh, nothing, man. Nothing. Uh, uh, by the time uh, this goes up on the Pop Riga Network, man, uh, the Pop Riga Podcast Season 9 will be done over oh, with. Nice. We've crowned our bracket champion of best television show. So if you want to find out, what show that was, head on over to episode 134 mm. uh, to check that out. Episode 135 is all Star Wars episode uh, <clears throat> because Han Solo drops uh, actually the day, two days, actually the day, a day from now when this goes up mm. or the day this goes up. He's, already, like he's already seen it, so it doesn't matter. But. <laughs> so yeah, man, that's what's going on, man. Just reading these comics, man. Reading mm. these comics. I it's actually have some freed up time that the season's over with. I can actually read some comics. I... Uh, for fun and not for show for purposes. Fun, exactly. You totally should get on that Transformers more than meets the eye. Yes. IDW, written by John uh, by James Roberts. All right then. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but, this episode is sponsored by. <laughs> uh, we're here to talk about uh, these G mm-hmm. uh, Grass Kings by Boom. Grass. I do believe this is the first Boom related property. It right? is. It is. I I'm familiar with some of Boom's um, uh, books. I've read a few. I, the names uh, escape me at the moment, but I have read a few. I have seen them at um, <clears throat> at uh, actually at different comic shows, and I've seen them in in, multiple, in many shops. So they're really coming up. Yeah, boom is boom boom is coming up in the game, man. Boom Studios, uh, Grass Kings, written by Matt Kent and Tyler Jenkins. So this is a co-created business between the uh, the writer and the illustrator. Mm. Um, Matt Kent's name, uh, everything Jeff Lemire doesn't do, Matt Kent does. That's just the way I, yeah, I look true. at it. Uh, Lemire's Those everywhere. Those guys are the, getting all the work in the in the industry. All the work, man. Kent is responsible for a good number of Valiant mm-hmm. stuff that goes down, mm-hmm. uh, I guess in the spare time. Mm-hmm. He does uh, shit for both. Um, mm-hmm. Like I said, written by Matt Kent, illustrated by Tyler Jenkins, lettered by Jim Campbell. Uh, colors. It does not have any colors, so that means uh, you mean it does not have any colors. Colors. This thing is chock full of colors. Well, I mean, it doesn't have a color credit. Let me put it that way. I don't know. Um, why. I'm they, thinking they, because the colors are amazing in this book. Yes, they are. It might have been also been done by by Tyler Jenkins. Uh, the colors are so amazing. Dave couldn't handle it and got up and ran away from the show. Uh, so I'm gonna vamp until he gets back. Um, so this is a joint. Uh, that was uh, one of those. I, I didn't run from cow by, by by means of cowardice. I just, I ran because there are times when you have to know when to hold them, know when to fold them. That made no, no sense. No one in to contents. walk away and no one to <laughs> no one to run. <laughs> um, I saw this on Comicsology, mm-hmm. um, and I was like, ah. no, actually, I saw this in the comic book store uh, for the first time, and I was like, well, this is the covers looked interesting to me. And I picked it up, flipped through it, and I was like, this is some wonky ass art. 
art's kind of whack to me. I don't know. Yeah, that shit will feel that. And then I saw it maybe a couple weeks later on sale for like a buck ninety nine. <laughs> and I was Amazing like, how a sale can change a man. Yeah. <laughs> change my morals quick. All right. Uh, and I was like, let me check out this first one to see what it's all about. <laughs> or it wasn't say it was recently reduced because Comixology will do that if mm-hmm. like if episode or issue six seven something is out, they kind of go back and they knock down the price on like one two three. I picked up this volume on Comixology for fourteen ninety nine. Fourteen ninety nine. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I think I got it for about. Uh, like 12 bucks 12 bucks that, cause I got you them all the reduced yes yes I was um, <laughs> yeah. you owe me about tree fitter <laughs> <laughs> I yeah I took a gamble on this one cause I don't I don't do much boom mm-hmm. uh, I've done only one or two things with Matt Kent mm-hmm. uh, so yeah this was a, this is a gamble for me and I'm uh, kind of glad I did this joint uh, mm-hmm. so Grass Kings mm-hmm. is basically <laughs> it uh, it shows a spick of land don't, they don't say where exactly this land is, do they? You know it's somewhere in it's the somewhere. U.S. Somewhere, yeah. It's somewhere in the you know, U.S. Yeah, it starts off with uh, with Native Americans, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, you, you, land, you, you, you've got you've got this wonderful sprawling landscape that is reminiscent of the American flag. Uh huh. Yeah. You think that was done intentionally? I, I think so. I, 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 I think did so. Not pick up on that at all. Yeah, you got the red, white, and blue. And yeah. Then, yeah. All right, then uh, you clever son of a bitch, you. Well, you know. Um. So yeah, we we show this uh, this land that is uh that's right there at the uh, right here by a lake, and it just shows this land throughout the course of time in the <clears> first <throat> couple of pages of the first issue and how uh, people. People take what they want mm. is kind of the, uh, the, the overall theme of these first few pages, and then they just put it in relation of this particular speck of land, and then we show over oh, what would you say about uh, five, six hundred years, something like that, mm-hmm. uh, how this land has progressed up until present day. And present day, this bit of land is completely off the grid. Mm-hmm. They are, for the most part, a complete self-sustaining piece of land. Um, they're, they have an, a neighboring city uh, not too far away uh, that uh, full of people who do not quite like them mm-hmm. at all. At all. It's at all, all comprised in the Grass Kingdom. All comprised in the... And this actual, this two-page sprawl mm-hmm. of the Grass Kingdom is an amazing piece of artwork. It is. It is. I would it like this reminds as a map me, on my wall. You would. Yeah. You definitely. would. So you would replace the picture of the Shire. On no, your wall. I oh. can have. I have uh, more than one bit of wall space. Oh, I can, really? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I, not not all of us can afford more than one wall, good sir. <laughs> but I would put this up. Uh, I have my my map of Westeros. Mm-hmm. I have my map of the Shire. Uh-huh. Uh, I wouldn't mind putting this map up there with those yeah. maps. You have any star maps by chance? I don't. I don't. You need to go ahead and get on that, man. Uh, I, I prefer fictional things up on my walls there. So, Do you mean like a star map, map of, as far as like like Star Wars, Star Trek, oh, one of those? Oh, I thought you meant just like an astrology. No, 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 no. no. Who, no wants, who wants facts on the wall? No, <laughs> uh, not Fox News. <laughs> um, uh, no, I don't. I did. Do they make those? I don't know. I'm sure they do. I'm sure they have that. I'm, I'm pretty sure someone's chart out. Hey, this is how far it is with the yeah. castle run to, <laughs> yeah. to uh, the Corellias, and you know. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I wouldn't mind having. Uh, like for Star Trek, like this ship comparison. Oh, they like definitely have that on the wall. They yeah, definitely I've, those. I've seen those there. online. Yeah. Um, Do you know your your different classes just by sight? By sight, yeah. I know my my you know Enterprise Constitution class. Ah, and the, the Excelsior you. is oh not Constitution, but also starts with the C. Enterprise D was Galaxy class. Uh-huh. Enterprise E was a Sovereign class. Uh-huh. Uh, I can't remember the Enterprise B with the Constitution. Or the Excelsior was, uh, you know. They better not ask you these questions on your trivia tonight. Yeah, it, it eludes me. It eludes better, me what, better uh, Google and get, get to Googling get before to you Google. get there. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Voyager's to Delta class, I think, or something like that. Hmm. Um, <coughs> nerd. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, there's a little bit of controversy that there's, there's thoughts that there might be a killer or killers that reside inside the Grass Kingdom mm-hmm. that we don't know about. Mm-hmm. Um, we get a little bit of look uh, in these five issues about life in the Grass Kingdom. Everybody seems to know everybody. Mm-hmm. Uh, they have what they consider a king, a leader, uh, who's a a, <laughs> um, a bit of a bit of a drunkard. Mm-hmm. I would say he has a uh, he has a reputation for being um, a bit of a drunkard, it's and a uh, his his younger brother is like the main sheriff in town. He kind of Kind of relates to the people and, and keeps things smooth and civil. He's, he's one of those 
one of those leaders that kind of knows everybody and you know yeah. they, oh, how's how's the the baby doing you know yeah. one of those you got you got to have someone glad handing yeah. especially when your leader is you know three sheets of the wind yeah exactly, exactly. heavy is the crown heavy is the crown and uh, he's I can't think of I'm trying to remember what his name is um was it Bruce or was Bruce the brother Bruce I think was a brother but I'm I, I I'm, again I'm very bad with names like in the first probably 10 issues or so then I finally get all the names of the of the Ninja Turtles but you know uh, Robert. Robert Robert is the uh, is the little brother's name he is mm. King Robert almost like King Robert Baratheon King Robert um, and he's got a kind of a kind of reason to to be a bit uh, on the saucy side. We mm-hmm. find out through some flashbacks that his uh, his daughter, um, him and his wife and his daughter, were I guess out just enjoying the land, maybe on a picnic, something like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, his daughter wants him to to you know read a read a story, a story that she she very much enjoys. I guess he's kind of tired. He's like, <laughs> let me just take a quick nap real quick and then mm-hmm. I'll, I'll read it when I wake up wakes up she is nowhere to be found mm-hmm. presumed dead has a toll on the marriage the wife leaves and uh, so they bring in from, from Cargill I think was the uh, is the name of mm-hmm. the uh, Cargill name of the town so they bring in the uh, the big timers from Cargill to uh, investigate and that's where kind of things go sour between between <laughs> Robert and the main sheriff which are kind of like the 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 protagonist antagonist, mm-hmm. I guess I would say of this whole deal. Mm-hmm. Uh, what what characters do you? I mean, there's the, we only are introduced and no way flesh out a handful of characters, but mm-hmm. which ones uh, stand out to you, sir? Well, the sheriff stands out to me because he, uh, <clears throat> I mean, you kind of start off with um, getting that point of view. Um, so, like I said, he, he stands out to me, but but uh, <clears throat> I will say. I said the the artwork on this was was incredible. Yeah, yeah, you uh, you love dig this water, artwork. It's, yeah, the, yeah, the watercolors were just uh, they're very vivid. It's kind of like watercolors over not quite detailed, not quite abstract mm-hmm. uh, uh, pencils and inks. Yeah, it looked it looked very lived in. Uh, I guess you could say the the world itself was very yeah lived in. very lived in 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 emotive. Uh, yeah, so if, if there were no dialogue, uh, I'd enjoy just looking at the artwork. Okay, I I can do I can do that. <clears throat> uh, the thing really pops off at the end of the first issue. Mm-hmm. Um, a woman appears mm-hmm. uh, from the town of Cargill, and she reveals that she is the sheriff, the main antagonist's wife, and he's not a good person. Mm-hmm. Uh, he already hates this little <clears throat> off-the-grid town, mm-hmm. and she has now escaped him and chosen, uh, I guess, a self-imposed exile or mm-hmm. just... Uh, Asylum. That's what I'm looking yeah, for. Asylum. Yeah. Asylum in this town, <clears throat> um, and pretty much the whole first volume is uh, is the tensions mounting between this little grass kingdom, the town of Cargill. You get some gangsters even show up. You get some gangsters showing up. Yeah, you got some. Yeah, they they kind of try and sneak the muscle in to get her back. That doesn't go well for the muscle. Mm-hmm. Um, and then it <clears throat> ends with the uh, it's it's wartime. It's wartime. It's wartime. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, everything's kind of brought to a head, and the volume actually kind of closes in the middle of a war, in the middle of the war, mm-hmm. where uh, where shit gets thick. Mm-hmm. I guess is the best way of putting it. Mm-hmm. Um, so is it the art that stands out for you? Is it the art or the or the colors or just everything combined to create the art? Is what stands everything out for you? with the, with the art? Cause like the watercolors, they just it you know kind of it adds a different depth to the <clears throat> to the book. It looks, it looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. Uh, what about the story itself? Couldn't get into it. Couldn't get into it. Could not get into it. I've. Uh, <clears throat> I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. Uh, I'm just gonna put it out there. I have read enough uh, and seen enough stuff on you know characters from the the white trash universe where I'm like I'm kind of over that. Okay, so you consider I, this a white trashy type deal? I do, I do. I mean, all the characters that are they're involved there. I mean, they're they're off the grid. They're self sustainable. I have not seen any black people. Uh, there's one in there. Well, there's, well, I mean, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Other than the token, but <laughs> I'm like, oh, there's uh, two actually. Two. No. Yeah. But yeah, it's just it. I, I just the story didn't didn't get me. I, I felt like I don't know if you've read Southern Bastards by Jason Latour. No. Uh, I, I felt that that. That, that encapsulated that uh, kind of the realistic southern kind of vibe more so than, than this one and, and then again maybe I was just uh, a little exhausted from the genre but nothing um, <clears throat> nothing really kind of grabbed me to say 
Yeah, I, I want to keep reading this beyond this volume. Uh, so the the whole mystery of what happens to Robert's daughter didn't intrigue you at all. Did not care. Didn't care. Did not care. Did not I was not like, care. she's gone? Eh. Nah, eh. No body was found. So I don't think she's gone. I right. I think she might have been nabbed. She might even possibly ran. I don't think she's dead. And I think... Uh, I, I think that's going to prove to be something going forward in the future. Yeah, I mean, um, I, I mean, if I had had my had my thoughts, I thought you know, I would think that, that hey, maybe this new this mysterious woman who's coming to town might have something related. But you know, it just looks like uh, just didn't didn't do it for you. Just huh? Didn't do it for didn't, me. Didn't, didn't, it didn't Yeah, I mean, all these people and their plights and that kind of stuff. I just I did it. not. It didn't draw me in. Okay, that's and that didn't up. draw me in as much as the artwork it was. Uh, the, the artwork had me sold. I was like, okay, I'm. You hook me, I'm, I'm I'm engaged, and then as we get going, I'm like, oh, this is kind of standard fare. I've kind of read a lot of this stuff, seen a lot of this stuff before. Okay, it's gonna go down redneck style, and I was like, yeah. All right, then. That, that was me. I find it interesting that you uh, you immediately uh, equated it with redneck, even though we don't know where in the U.S. this is. Well, still, I mean, it's it's a bunch of white people off the grid. I don't expect good things to come from that. <laughs> oh, well, okay. Then. Yeah. Well, okay. Then. Um, yeah, I, uh, I can I can I sound any more racist? I probably could. <laughs> yeah, you I probably, probably could. Probably could. Yeah. Um, these covers are wonderful. I like uh, I like the uh, <laughs> the close knitness of this community. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like like when they know they they bring in the muscle. Uh, they and then the muscle ends up being like the Luca Brasi. Mm. Type character if you if you're in for a Godfather reference like you're like oh I think his name was like Big Dan like oh Big Dan yeah. showed up it's about to get real mm. nope Big Dan clapped uh, immediately yeah. and let the birds take care of his ass <laughs> um, and then that's like the inciting incident for this shit to really go down mm. um, and then when they finally come to that conclusion that it's really gonna go down there's a nice little montage of of uh, our our somewhat protagonist sheriff just going to uh, a few members of the town like. You know what's up, and they're like, mm-hmm. "Yeah, we know what's up." And mm-hmm. you see the next one, like, "Yo, get ready!" And they're already like, "You know, getting the guns ready." Like, of course they are. And like, I, "Hey, you know what's up?" And then, yeah, they're, they're like, "Hey, wait, they, it's feuding time." Yeah, 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 it's feuding time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm interested to see where this goes past the uh, past mm-hmm. this first volume, and I, they keep flashing back to just all the fights over this particular one. Mm-hmm. Like, it's seemingly insignificant spit of land. It has an it has an interesting you know the take as far as the history of the of the region, but yeah. <clears throat> so uh, so what you are saying, sir, is you will not be uh, you will not be pursuing a second volume of the Grass Game. I'm Games. afraid not. I'm okay. Afraid not. All right then. Uh, I you know I uh, I gave it a shot though. I, I did I did really because like I say it it it, it had me pre sold. Mm-hmm. On the art by itself, which typically, you know, I'm, you know, and ever since uh, Descender, I was like, you know what, you know, maybe I'll give this whole art thing a chance. Okay. You know, judging a book by its cover, and um, but yeah, you know, the the art the art hooked me, so it it and I started off with the the, the native um, uh, kind of the narrative there. So I was like, all right, so it's got some historical accuracy to it, and then it just it kept going, and I was like, they introduced characters, and I was like. I don't care about them. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then. Uh, well, well. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> well, that's it. That is, I guess, that's it for my half. You got the, any final? Have you read anything else by Matt Kent? Oh, I've, yeah, I've read other stuff by Matt Kent before. I can't. It doesn't it doesn't conjure at the moment what he uh, has done, but I've enjoyed some other stuff he's done. Okay, yeah. no, but just not this one particular. Yeah, this one just didn't. I guess the the, the elements again. Like I say, I really think it, it, I may be just kind of uh, fatigued from the. Um, from the uh, the redneck genre. Now, stuff, had but... you not read Southern Bastards, mm-hmm. do you think this might intrigue you more, or no? The Southern Bastards was still its, its own thing. It, it was unique enough. Hey, I recommend that to you as well. It's it was... on the shelf. I'll get to it. Oh, good, good. Um, it's it's it has its own thing to it. But no, the genre I've I've, uh, I've been more steeped in than I than I would like. I I haven't even I haven't even watched um, what was it that show that very popular show about the motorcycle gang. Oh, so bad. So oh, bad. I haven't, I haven't even watched that because I'm like, I'm just, I'm so full. I've, 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 my meter needs to come down from the, 
Ooh, what have you dramas. been watching reading that, that has filled up? What What are these things that have well, filled up? I mean, they're just, they're just playing stuff out there. Just, you know. Okay. I'm not, not going to get into it now. Okay. Yeah. All right. Then. <laughs> Interesting. All right. Then. Well, I, that's, a, that's a no-go for uh It's a no-go for, for me. Dave. But it's a go I don't even know if we introduced us. ourselves at the beginning of this episode. Definitely. But. I mean, I think people should know by now. Should know by now. It's, it's, it's episode seven, so. Yeah. We're, yeah. we're, we're the Gs. So we have to do the Gs. <laughs> We're the Gs in this comic podcast <laughs> shit. Uh, it's a go for me. Um, so I think that's, I think have we, have we covered everything? Is there anything else that you'd like to specifically mention about the Grass Kings? No, no, that's good. That's good. All right, we're going to take ourselves a uh, an audio break, and then we'll be right back to talk Dave shit. Here he is, Colonel Fury. Well, long time no see, Spider-Man. I thought you had your filibus when we tackled the chameleon back at the U.N., I need information about a criminal named The Cat. The Cat? This isn't like ordering a pizza. S.H.I.E.L.D. doesn't deliver classified information within 15 minutes where the first state secret is free. I regret that I can't help you at all. But take him back and drop him off. Gently this time. <clears throat> we're back. Yes. And we're back with, uh, with, with my section here. This is... Uh, the second half of uh, ABC's of CPPs, we're going to talk about Ghost Rider, Wolverine, Punisher, and it's only made it into the G's because Ghost Rider's name was first on the title card. Yeah, now I've been meaning to ask you about this. So when you we were figuring out all the different books for the letters, <laughs> yeah, and you got the G, and you yeah. just like looked around, I, I had and some other the corner G's. of your eye, oh, I had you some did. other G's, and you actually chose this, and I chose this because okay. I wanted something wacky and zany, and I mean, what the fuck? I mean, because. That was my thoughts. When you whole when you see just the title of it, it just says Ghost Rider, Wolverine, Punisher, Hearts of Darkness. The, the question that always comes to mind, I don't, I don't want to speak for everybody, but I'm going to, is that how the fuck are you going to get these three people in the same book doing anything together? <laughs> yeah. It's like, there has to be, it has to be ridiculous. It's a, let, me just, let me just jump in here. <clears throat> it's uh, written by Howard Mackey. The art was John Romita Jr. Classic. You, I mean, all the artwork in here. You, you, you like, but before I even look back here to say, hey, you know, who who did this? You can look at the artwork. And he's like, yep, that's for me to yep. all the way. And then uh, the inker is uh, Klaus Jansen. So oh, the Dark Knight Returns fan, indeed. And so uh, the the book starts off with uh, some cultists uh, trying to summon Blackheart, the son of Mephisto. Mephisto. Uh, and Blackheart shows up and is like, all right, I'm not just going to take your silly, shitty little offering. I'm going to just kill the rest of you. And when he kills the rest of them, he's like, no, Mephisto's just toying with me. He's allowing this stuff to happen to me, so I'm going to fight back with him. Mm -hmm. I'm going to I'm going to assassinate him, but to do so, I must get maneuver three pawns uh, to, that, will, that will be worthy of destroying my father. Now, why he thinks these three dudes could take out the Marvel version of the devil? That's you know, it's it's crazy. Just think, I mean, you got one guy who's just guns. <laughs> you got another guy who's healing factor in claws. Yeah. And then you have the other one who's the spirit of vengeance. I mean, one out of three ain't bad. One out of three ain't bad. <laughs> but but even with that, the the way that they were all brought together, you think it's like, how in the world can this happen? How how can these people get to come together? It's the the most ridiculous way. <laughs> It's a carefully worded letter. A carefully worded letter. Each of them receives a handwritten note from Blackheart. It's signed BH. That's that's how bad it is. <laughs> like I just imagine uh like him at a little writing desk with like an ink and quill and like tiny little glasses on the bridge of his nose. Oh drats, I spelled that wrong. Like, what 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 devious font can I use? It's <laughs> like a whole bunch of like all the previous notes we just didn't like the wording <laughs> like the word. all around the trash can <laughs> <laughs> I will read this note to you just, just so you can see how ridiculous this is this one is to Ghost Rider right? this one's to uh, Ghost Rider so he's like Mr. Catch oh, I'm gonna read it in Blackheart's voice Mr. Catch <laughs> the secrets of the Ghost Rider can be yours come to Christ's crown and all will be revealed trust me and learn the secrets of the soul crystal Sincerely, <laughs> BH. I'm like, so it's, it's sincere, so he means what he's he saying. He means what he says. You know, he took the time to actually to write it out, to, write it to out. mail it, to hand deliver it. I mean, he didn't hand deliver it, but they, well, maybe he did hand so deliver it. So, how did it get so and so? So, Black Card just licked a little stamp. Licked a little stamp, put it in the book. It's like, I hope it reads Ghost Rider, Wolverine, and the Punisher. <laughs> yeah. uh, and it is just ridiculous. So, we get, uh, so this a lot of this comes, or the beginning of it comes from the point of view of Ghost Rider. Mm -hmm. 
Um, so he's our lead in. Yeah, he's our lead in. We know that he knows he has to be at this location, mm-hmm. this house. Mm-hmm. Um, Roadhouse. <laughs> Roadhouse, which is kind of, is kind of swayzing it up here. Logan. It is. It is. Um, so he, gonna, this is a, a bed and breakfast with the three of the, of the world's most dangerous killers. <laughs> yeah, a, 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 a mother and her, her little daughter here. Mm-hmm. So we get there, Wolverine's already there drinking beer. Mm-hmm. Uh, Punisher and the goofiest <laughs> fake mustache. <laughs> is this the worst? This is the shittiest pencil mustache and the incognito <laughs> green sunglasses. So I guess he's reading Superman comics. He's like, if that right. bitch has glasses can work, then right? this thin ass pencil mustache can work. God, it's so bad. It's, it's so bad. So, so bad. bad. But so they all get there. He's a comics, folks. He's a comics. <laughs> uh, and I guess they all decide that they need. So Wolverine immediately knows who Punisher is. Right. Um, you can't fool that nose. Can't fool that nose. Mm-hmm. And there's he, so much death. He's just washing it. He reveals himself to uh, Punisher. Punisher's like, oh, it's you, Logan. What's up? Mm-hmm. They don't know who the other person is because Ghost Rider don't run in them circles. All right. Strange enough, I wouldn't assume that Punisher <laughs> and uh, Wolverine ran in the same circles. But right. I think Punisher probably watches the news, or Logan watches the news. He knows Punisher's out there in New York mm-hmm. clapping cats up. Right. Uh, mm-hmm. So then, you know, he, he has to draw all three of them out. Uh, Blackheart does. Mm-hmm. Right. And, uh, and he does so. He's pretty much got the town under his control, right? Mm-hmm. To include the young woman who owns this little bed and breakfast. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and he's certainly got the postal service in his back pocket. <laughs> yeah, he definitely has the postal <laughs> service in his back pocket. And I will not pay postage for this. I will not pay postage. Uh, one click shipping. <laughs> I Amazon do, Prime. Hello, the tracking number is such. <laughs> the tracking number is 666. Six, six. Yeah. Six, 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 sir, we, six, we got six, it. Six, six, six. We got it. <laughs> so he pretty much is like, look, I brought you three together mm-hmm. because you three are the best chance I have of me defeating my pops. And if you help me do that in return, I will give you the secrets that you long. I think he teases Wolverine with, with the, the whole knowledge of the weapon X mm-hmm. experiment and how he got the way he is. Right. Uh, he teaches... I don't know what it's he's Punisher with. Uh, uh, the the knowledge of who killed his, uh, killed his family. family. I think, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Ghost Rider, uh, the Soul Crystal. Mm-hmm. I don't know much about Ghost Rider, but I guess at this time that he was looking for a Soul Crystal. Yeah. yeah I think it gives him great, you know, more control over, and more, you know, like, uh, uh, information on how to control his powers. That kind of stuff. Okay. He, he still doesn't know how he's, how he's transferring, transforming into Ghost Rider. Okay. Yeah. All right. Then. And he steals Ghost Rider's mm-hmm. motorcycle as well. Mm-hmm. Yes. So we can add uh, Grand Larceny to his, uh, his list Grand of crimes. Mm-hmm. Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto, sorry. Mm-hmm. Uh, on top of murder. Mm-hmm. Uh, a whole group of sacrificers. Um, so he gets them all together and they're like, mm, yeah, we're going to kick your ass. Yeah, we're, we're good. Yeah. <laughs> we're good on this. <laughs> uh, when did you first get this book, Dave? Man, this is, this is so many years ago. This is one of those, I probably got it in like a bargain bin or something like that. You know, hey, the sales are calling to me. And, and it's just, it's so... It's so ridiculous. It's one of those things that you just wouldn't pick up normally. And and I think seeing that cover just kind of rewrote something in my brain. It says, you need to have this, if for no other reason, to see what the fuck, oh, how this plays out. Uh, you can read this book during a commercial break at your favorite TV show. It's 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 tiny. It's, uh, what, uh, probably less than 50 pages. Uh, I would say it's about an issue and a half. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah about it, which is less than fifty pages. Yeah, um, I, th- I don't <laughs> think you could continue a story like this beyond <laughs> that amount of page. Yeah. Um, uh, <clears throat> it's quick read. It's absolutely ridiculous. Read. <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous. What did you think of it though? I well, absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. This is what I thought of. But it, ridiculous in a good way or a bad way. I mean, you got through it. My question so it's no is, Earth X. well, I mean, yeah, I got through it, so it's no Earth X. My question is, why does this book exist? Mm. Who was this book targeted for? Mm-hmm. I don't understand. Like, the, who, someone had to pitch to somebody, and then someone gave someone money to do this. You know what I think? So people, what? you know, what I think I think Blackheart had a hand in this. <laughs> <laughs> he said the he carefully word to edit to the editor, <laughs> right to run from me to Junior. He's like, this must be published. <laughs> uh, he was like, all right, I, paint me as the underdog in this one. <laughs> <laughs> as the underdog. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't understand why. I feel like, like my my first thought when I got to the last page mm-hmm. of this was, you're saying it was an answer to, to a question no one asked. It was the, <laughs> yes. It was the answer to the question. No one asked. Um, <coughs> Howard Mack 
you wrote this whole script in about 45 minutes. That was my first thought. <laughs> <laughs> he wrote this whole thing. I mean, from conception to the <laughs> writing the final panel, 45 minutes. This is he a was, writing he exercise. Was, he was, yeah, he was that somebody's like, the writing problem is like, do something in 45 minutes. Like, well, well shit. I got this other thing. That's, I need a, this pitch by Monday. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, pretty much. Uh, yeah. Wow. Wow, I would love. I would, I would, I would give so many things just to be able to pinpoint the exact moment in time where you found this. I think, and we, to see what was going through your head. I think what we need it. to do is actually like go to Twitter. <clears throat> if these guys are on Twitter, like, dear at Howard Mackey, and dear at Howard Mackey, I was like, Why? what the fuck were you thinking? <laughs> yeah, hey, don't even, just don't even reference this book. Just say, what the fuck were you thinking? He'll know exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, talking about yeah. that Ghost Rider Wolverine Punisher, huh? Exactly. <laughs> so I saw your list of, of books that we were gonna do mm-hmm. before we started this show, and I was like, what the fuck is this all about? Yeah, that's that's what the fuck this was all that's about, what it was huh? All about. Yeah. yeah, it yeah. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> you can. You I mean, can, there's, there's, you don't have to worry about reading another one. You know, to be like, hey, I gotta go on this one. I, let me check out the next one. You don't have to worry about that with this. Yeah, it's self-contained. Uh, it's one thing. It's one thing. That's, it's, that's, like, it's like having AIDS for a day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you have for a day, you mean during a commercial break. You know, it's yeah. how long it takes to to, to read that story. Right. Uh, I'm trying to see if this is on Comicsology. Okay. It yeah, probably see, is. How, I mean, it should be. Much. It's a comic. Not everything is on this. It'll be like, it 99, it'll be like 99 cents, I bet. If it's more than 99 cents, it's a, it's a jip. It is. <clears> as a <throat> matter of fact, it is $9.99. Nine whole dollars? Let me see here. Let me look on the back cover. Oh, no, it can't be because it, it went for $4.95 <laughs> U.S. <laughs> what? Back then. Yep, this is nine ninety nine for Ghost Rider Wolverine. This thing Punisher. came out in 1991. So at the beginning of the Bulls finals run, three peat part one, <laughs> this is what he was the one this is in between commercial breaks idea. in the game. Exactly. <laughs> he just wrote this up during halftime. During halftime. <laughs> he's like, right, hey. Jordan's he's this he's on fire. I am tripping balls. Let's do this. <laughs> oh man. If, so, I, if that's not reasons for celebration, I don't know what it is. So I guess we you know we gotta we gotta still ask our our standard questions. Mm-hmm. If there was a second story of Ghost Rider Wolverine Punisher with the same creative team, uh-huh. would you go ahead? And I'd have to read it. I'd have to. <laughs> <laughs> I have to know where they take it from here. Okay, that's fair. You know I what? would. I would have to join you with this. I you would have to no, join we, you. You know, we need to write our own Ghost Rider Wolverine Punisher. Thing. Yeah, do like fan fiction. Yeah, and just put it out there. It's gonna so, be. So how, uh, how would you? It, but it would, it would also have to involve Blackheart. Yeah, reading. it's gonna be Blackheart reading this issue. He's like, no, they got me all. This is where I went wrong. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's gonna bring them all together to make a new Ghost Rider Wolverine Punisher book. It was gonna keep you it know, very meta. He's like, he's like well, yeah, I, I figured out where I what I, I messed up last time. You guys need more guns. <laughs> no, no, not not from the fist up, buddy. You need more of pretty much everything else. And pretty much everything else. So, but yeah. <clears throat> I'm serious. Well, we, that we, was, we should do like a one page thing. Let's just, oh, Ghost, a, Ghost Rider Wolverine Punisher. A one page, nine panel. What, yeah, what happened right after? Swarma, obviously. So, I guess so. It's Swarma. Uh, yeah. well, that's it for the G's, I guess, right? That's it for the G's. We got to go into the H's next. Uh, what is your H? <clears throat> My H is Human Target. It's a Vertigo comic. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> this is only the second time we've dipped into Vertigo. I didn't yeah, yeah. Show after I'll tables. Actually, you know, I'm gonna do something a little different here. I'm gonna read th- from the jacket here. All right. So As the geez. world's greatest impersonator, Chance makes his living by not being himself, putting on his clients' faces and slipping into their lives. Chance is the ultimate decoy, luring out threats and then neutralizing them in near perfect surprise. But the price for this uncanny ability is a steady eroding of his own identity, and with it, a growing disconnection from reality. Human target. Isn't this a TV show? It was a TV show, bud. Is it based on the comic? I think it was kind of loosely based on the concept, but I don't. I don't think they went all the way with that. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> all right. Then. I never. I, I say this without actually having watched that series because when I heard about it, I thought. 
it either is exactly like the comic, and they're doing just they're doing a faithful representation of it, which I don't need because I read the comic. I'm I'm satisfied with that. Mm-hmm. Or <clears throat> they're trying to bank on that's the name and the success, or they're trying to do something a little bit different. And I don't want to see that bullshit. <laughs> well, then so you heard it here like, first. Yeah, they don't want to see that. Bullshit. I don't want to see that bullshit. I mean, I, I like, if I enjoy the comic, I was like. That's where it needs. To, that's, that's that's where it, where it is. That's yeah. where it lives in your heart. Yeah. Sometimes that's, you know. Sometimes I don't need another adaptation of it. I'm like this one was fine. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, I, I guess yours since, we're, since we're getting out all these teases, mm-hmm. uh, I have uh, from Image Comics Hadrian's Wall. Hadrian's, eh? Hadrian's I would wall. call them Hadrian's, but that's just me. Uh, oh, you're a, you're a, you're a long A for the Hadrian. I'm, I'm a short A for the Hadrian. Uh, 1985 tensions between the U.S. and the Soviet Union culminated with nuclear detonations in New York City and Moscow. Or Moscow. I'm not sure where you fall on that. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm a Moscow kind of guy. All right. Uh, <laughs> in the decades after the two superpowers find peace through partnership. I don't partnership, think anyone calls it Moscow, but I'm sorry. I, I'm interrupting. Uh, find peace through partnership focused on colonizing space. A hundred years later, a new Cold War simmers between Earth and their biggest colony on Theta. When asteroid Edward Madigan dies aboard a survey ship, Hat or Hadrian's Wall, pill popping Detective Simon Moore is dispatched to investigate, but while Simon initially takes this case as a way to spite his ex wife, <clears throat> Simon quickly learns that Edward's death was no accident and threatens to turn the Cold War red hot. That's Hadrian's Wall, sir. I, uh, for me, this is what I called, if you listen to uh, Pop Regal Round Table mm-hmm. that we did at the end of last year, we gave out our <clears throat> Pop Regal Awards. This was my. Uh, comic of 2017. Hmm. I will say of note also that <clears throat> just comparing the books by size, my volume one is like half <laughs> li- half the size of your Hadrian Hadrian's Wall. But I feel like uh, there's a lot of back there's like a lot of artwork and fluff and, and extra content. I do believe. Yeah. Hadrian's Wall. I might be yeah. wrong. They're more, I'm they're, getting closer to being wrong. I'm looking at. Uh, no, it's, it, looks like it, it, looks, <laughs> it, looks, it looks like Hadrian's Wall is all content. Yeah, all content. All hey, content. look at all that content yeah, I'm, again. I'm, hey, I'm fine. I'm fine oh, you it. know what? I think it was eight issues. That's why. <clears throat> oh, okay. it's, it's more than your standard six issue volume. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, so How many like, issues are in this volume? Like one through five? One through five? Uh, it's Virgo. So this, this is before they were... Uh, it's probably on the inside thingy. This was nine dollars here. So this is different. This is... Uh, one through five. Five, five issues. <clears throat> uh, Hadrian's Wall, I like enough to have it both digitally and physically. Oh, man. Uh, so, yeah. That's a, it's, a, it's a glowering... Uh, a glowering uh, praise for you. That's yeah. a little tease. That's a little yeah. tease for you. Uh, yeah. So that's it. Is that it for the for the G's, sir? That's it for the G's. I don't think you have a bonus G that you wanted to talk about. I mean, nothing's going to top Ghost Rider Wolverine <clears throat> Punisher. Yes, sir, I will agree with you on that. <laughs> <laughs> that is it. We're going to see you guys in uh, two weeks for our ages. Until then, y'all take it easy.